Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about 2D shapes by doing an activity. To do this activity, we will use this geo board and some rubber bands. So before starting this video, I want to explain the meaning of 2D shapes. In 2D, D stands for dimensions, means the shapes which are having only two dimensions, length and breadth are known as 2D shapes. 2D shapes are not having any thickness or depth. That's why these shapes are known as flat shapes or plane shapes. And the examples of 2D shapes are rectangle, square, triangle, circle, etc. In today's video, we will learn about these shapes one by one and we will also learn about their properties. So, let's start. So, our first 2D shape is rectangle. So, let's make the rectangle here by using this rubber band. This is a rectangle. A rectangle is having four sides and four corners and it has four angles also. And in a rectangle, all the angles are of 90 degree. And one of the most important property of rectangle is, its opposite sides are always equal to each other. Okay? Now, we will make another 2D shape that is square. This, we will just do like this. Now, this is a square. Our square is having four sides. And four vertices or four corners. And in a square also all the four angles are of 90 degree. And in the square as all the sides are equal. Therefore all the angles will always be equal. And the sum of its angles will be 360 degree. Okay. So now we will. So our next shape is triangle. So let's make the triangle here by using this rubber band and this is a triangle. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three vertices and it has three angles also and in a triangle the sum of its angles is 180 degree. So in today's video we will discuss about three types of triangle that are equilateral triangle, Isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. So first we will discuss about equilateral triangle. So this is an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal. And as all the sides are equal then all the angles will also be equal. The sum of all the three angles is 180 degree. Therefore, each angle will be of 60 degree. In an equilateral triangle, each angle will be of 60 degree. Now, the second type of triangle which we are going to discuss is isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, only two sides are equal to each other. As you can see here, these two sides are equal to each other and this one is unequal. Okay, hence this is known as isosceles triangle and because these two sides are equal then these two angles will also be equal to each other. Now our next type of triangle is scalene triangle. This is a scalene triangle. In this type of triangle no sides are equal therefore no angles will be equal to each other. This means no sides and no angles will be equal. Now we will talk about our next 2D shape that is pentagon. So let's make the pentagon here. In a pentagon there are sides. So a pentagon is a polygon with five sides. So as you can see here this is a closed figure having five sides. And a pentagon in which all the five sides are equal, that pentagon is known as regular pentagon. And when all the sides will be equal, 
then all the angles will also be equal. Okay, so in a pentagon, so in a pentagon there are five sides. Now, next type of 2D shape is hexagon. So now you can see it is a hexagon. So it is also a type of polygon which is having six sides. It has six vertices and six angles also. And the hexagon in which all the sides are equal, hexagon is known as regular hexagon. So this means in a hexagon there are six sides. Okay. Now our next 2D shape is circle. So let's make the circle here. So this is a circle. In the circle, this is our center. This is the center of the circle. Now if from the center we will draw a line segment that ends on the boundary of the circle anywhere that is known as radius of the circle. So let's make the radius. Radius always starts from the center and ends on the boundary of the circle. So this is the radius. Now let's make the another radius. This is another radius of circle. So a circle may have infinite number of Radius and all the radius are always equal to each other. So here as you can see that these all are equal to each other. Now let's talk about the next concept that is diameter. So diameter means a line segment whose both the end points are on the boundary of the circle. As you can see that it's both the end points are on the boundary of the circle and it always passes through the center of the circle. A diameter always divides the circle in two equal halves. Okay. And one more thing is the relationship between the radius and diameter. The diameter is twice the radius of the circle. Or we can say that the radius is half the length of the diameter of the circle. Okay. Now our next concept is chord. Now we will make a chord here. So this is a chord. A chord is a line segment whose both the end points are on the boundary of the circle. But it may or may not pass through the center of the circle. So this is a chord. Let's make the another chord. We can see that this is also one of the chord of the circle. So, so a circle has infinite number of chords, radius and diameter. Now one more thing about chord is that it can pass through the center of the circle. Or we can say that the longest chord of any circle is its diameter. So in the case of the circle, the boundary of the circle is known as its circumference. So in today's video, we learned about the center, radius, diameter and chord of the circle. Apart from this, we learned about other 2D shapes also that were square, triangle, pentagon, hexagon and so on. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Looking forward to meet you in our next video with a new concept. Till then, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.